And it was one of these soups that got jarred, like beet borscht. Actually, I think it would take less time to make this soup than to go out and buy shav in a bottle. It's just real comfort food for those who grew up with it. We've all heard about Ukraine these days. I'll bet you didn't know, however, it's always been the place where food has grown. And one of the first foods that are grown in the spring in Ukraine is sorrel. Today we're going to make sorrel soup. The Yiddish term chav has uh, been translated exactly from the Ukrainian. Chav is one of the soups that are used for the holiday of Shavuot. And after all, in the ancient world, you didn't eat a cow or a goat, except for special occasions. You had these cows and goats and, and, and lambs for their milk. So it was, it was natural that for uh, to celebrate the Torah on Mount Sinai being given to the Jewish people, you would have this as a festival where you would have milk products. It's a cold soup. Uh, very often you mix it with lettuce, but it's, it's, it's really a soup of whatever grain, uh, whatever leaf is growing in the spring. It's very sour tasting, which is something that Ukrainians and Lithuanians like. Sour tasting uh, pickles, sour tasting rye bread, sour tasting kvass, which is a drink of rye flour and water, and sour tasting soup, or borscht, which is also the word for soup. So I'm gonna put the butter in. So then I put the, my leeks and my onions in here. You want to, to cook this for a while to release the juices so that the flavor will come out and the sweetness will come out. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. You don't want it, the garlic ever to brown to get burnt. So here's the sorrel. They're very often stems. You don't want to eat the stems, so we have to pick through it to get rid of them. Here's another one. And I'm gonna chop them, but not so much, just like this, roughly chopped. So I'm gonna pour the water. Lemon juice to make it even tartar. And you can really be creative with the herbs, whatever you wanna use. It's just gonna add to the texture of the soup and the flavor of the soup. And look at how sorrel will turn color. You can always tell very quickly. See that? That's definitely sorrel. We'll cook this for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna add a little salt to it. So then I have an immersion blender, which is a great thing to have. This is what all the chefs do today. And that means that you don't need a blender. You don't have to transfer it. And you can watch it so that it will blend exactly the way you want. Now for people like me that like some texture, this is a perfect thing to use. See? So then I'm gonna taste it. Mm. It's really nice and it's really sour. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of sugar in. Now I'm going to let it cool and I'll serve it when it's cool. Okay, so I'm going to chop up the herbs. And then the way I do it is I just put it in and I kind of swirl it. I always like to have three, three little dollops. It doesn't really matter. And then I'll put some cucumber on top or maybe some tomatoes, if you have tomatoes that time of year. And voila, take a little bit of soup and a little bit of creme fraiche and the herbs. It's really, 
truly delicious. It's a perfect melding of the sweet from the creme fraiche and the sour from the sorrel. Happy Shavuot and happy early summer.